So what's up with the sunglasses? Uh, you're inside. <laughs> Is my nor too much for you to handle? Man, please. You ain't got no nor. All I see is darkness coming from you. I wear these glasses for protection from the evil eye. Huh? What the heck are you talking about? Sunglasses protect against the evil eye. Everyone knows this. Our Morshid Kamil said to wear sunglasses to protect from the evil eye. Okay, but what did Rasul Sassam say about the evil eye? Who cares about your sheikh's freestyling bars of nonsense? Rasul Sassam said to wear cool. Yes, Rasul Sassam said to wear cool. There's plenty of benefits to wearing cool, and it's the sunnah of Rasul Sassam. But Rasul Sassam never said that wearing cool protects from the evil eye. Where's your hadith? Where, where's your support? You really need to stop this stuff, and you really need to return to the Quran and Sunnah. Stop following your sheikh's freestyling cultural myths and these random statements that he makes. And even with the hadith of cool, what does cool have to do with wearing sunglasses? You're really just blind following someone who's making things up. You look like a weirdo. Like wearing sunglasses inside, it's it's kind of like you know you see the crackhead on the street wearing the all-black denim jean outfit in the middle of the summer. Astaghfirullah, Muslims can't wear jeans of black, man. This is against Islam. Our Morshid Kamil told us not to wear jeans of all black. What? Why? Because Our Morshid Kamil said that Jews created jeans to possess people. They sewed jeans inside the jeans, man, inside the seams. <laughs> My man. Are you serious right now? We can't wear black because the Quran says the people of hell wear black. And we are forbidden from dressing like the people of hell. Okay, okay, okay. Please stop. Do you hear yourself? Where in the Quran and the Sunnah are Muslims forbidden from wearing jeans or wearing black? You won't find this anywhere. Our Morshid Kamil has special knowledge and understanding of the Qur'an, man. So your sheikh has a special understanding that nobody else in the history of Islam has. Where is his tafsir? Did he write a tafsir with all the special knowledge he has? No, he didn't. He reads directly from the same books that we have access to. And just use a little bit of common sense, please. Do you really think some evil Jewish person is capturing jinns and sewing them up in jeans. What is his name? <laughs> Please don't tell me it's Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> and are there like millions of jinns just hanging out on the shelves in clothing stores, hanging up on hangers, hanging out with each other, waiting to be bought? So if a person has like several pair of jeans, um, then does he have like a bunch of jinns just hanging up in his closet? Does any of this make any sense to you? I mean, it might make a little sense. Did you know that Rasulullah Sallallahu wore black? Did you know that Rasulullah Sallallahu wives wore all black? Also, you guys claim that you're country Sufis, right? So you follow Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani, Rahimullah, who is supposed to be above your Sheikh, right? Yeah. Did you know that he told his followers that they should wear black? I mean, <laughs> this stuff is crazy, man. Oh. What are you doing? Why are you hiding? Don't whistle, Ak. Whistling calls the jinns, man. Seriously? Are you serious right now? Where did you get this stuff from? Automorshid Kamil, of course. At what point are you going to realize your shake is full of crap? Where in the Quran and the Sunnah does it say that whistling calls jinns? The answer is nowhere. So what happens if I wear jeans and whistle at the same time. Do the gene gins and the whistle gins fight each other? Or it's like, they have some kind of battle? Is it like a Pokemon battle? First, you shouldn't watch Pokemon because they are gins. And my shake fights gins too. So how does he fight them? Does he whistle to lure them into his trap and then capture them with needle and thread like how the Jewish people do with the genes? Uh, I don't know. I bet your shake teleports, levitates, and reads minds too. Of course, my Morshid Kamil has all of these powers. He's also aware of all his talibs at all times. <laughs> so you believe your shake is aware of everything you do at all times? Yes. But you wanted me to keep our conversation secret 
but you think your shake knows you are talking to me right now? Well, um, hmm. And brother, I can see you're wearing a pair of black jeans right now. I thought you said you can't wear them. <sighs> brother, I'm not a perfect toddler. So you are just willingly walking around with gin jeans. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is hilarious, man. Your shake has taught you a bunch of nonsense and a bunch of nonsense that you don't actually even really believe or follow. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's because you realize this doesn't make that much sense. I mean, you think your shake has all these powers. Meanwhile, all these bad things happen in your community and he doesn't know about them or he doesn't stop them. He can levitate, he can teleport, he knows about everything, but all this bad stuff still happens and he doesn't do anything about it. You just don't understand the miracles of the Wallys of Allah. You know what they say about people who claim to have powers or perform miracles, but do not follow the Quran and Sunnah? They say, if you see someone performing miracles, but not following the Quran and Sunnah, then know they are a devil. Right in this conversation, we have established that your sheikh doesn't follow the Quran and Sunnah, and literally makes things up, and also claims to have all these powers and perform all these miracles. Sounds like a devil to me. How did he violate the Quran and Sunnah? Well, that's a long answer because there's a laundry list of examples that we need to talk about. But right here in this conversation, he told y'all not to wear black and Rasulullah's wives wore black. You need to be more worried about the misguidance of your sheikh than the imaginary jinns in your jeans. But Amor Kamil knows more than us. Does he know more than Rasulullah? I don't know, maybe. Wow, I'm going to have to take a break and step outside for a second before we continue. Brother, take that hat off. Our Mushin Camel told us that jins dance on the brim of baseball caps, man. Seriously, what the fuck is this guy talking about?